She's my dad's stepsister. We've kind of been estranged my whole life. She kind of came back into my life after I was pregnant and I was trying to make amends with a lot of my family, so. Well, estranged your whole life. She was a part of your life when you were very small. I don't remember that. You don't, And from what I was told, I was taken away from her pretty abruptly for a good reason, so I don't know. Okay, I don't so remember so the family that you lived with was estranged from her? Yeah, we reconnected in my late teens and then we were estranged again for a little bit and then after I got pregnant again, she came back into my life. Okay, so tell me how the discussion about the van came up. She was talking about coming down for the birthday party. She told me that she was trying to figure out how to fit the dollhouse and the SUV. It was your daughter's first birthday? Yes. First yes. child? Yes. So she was coming down to bring her a dollhouse? Yeah, to okay. come celebrate the birthday. I asked her what was wrong with the van. She said that it needed a power steering pump and a battery. And I told her I'll buy it, I'll fix it. But I was agreeing to fix the two things that she told me was wrong with it, the power steering pump and the battery. Okay, so Ms. Pallone, at the time this conversation happened, how long had it been since the van had been driven? It had been maybe two to three months because we were low on finances, so okay. we weren't able to get it up and running. So you were aware that the van had a problem with the power steering pump? Yes, right. And that that needed to be replaced, and that's about a $400, $300 issue to replace? Yeah, between the power steering pump and the battery. So the fix was, the battery and the power steering. Yes. And she sent you the funds to fix them. Yes, ma'am. And your husband fixed them. Yes. So how was this van going to get to Ms. Kelly? My now 18-year-old son drove it the six hours down to the birthday party to give the van okay. to Ms. Kelly. So you drove in the SUV. Yes. And your 18-year-old son drove the van himself. Yes. How did you arrive at the price for which you were gonna purchase, $2,500? So she wanted the full price from what she had paid. So the van originally cost $2,500? Yes. And how long did you have it? I had the van for about two years. Okay, so you wanted the full amount for a van you had been driving for two years. Yes, because we had done quite a bit of work on the okay. van leading up to it. We had put tires on it about a year and a half uh, prior to this, and we've had to do like some tune-ups, you know, upkeep of it. And yeah. as far as we knew, there were no other problems with the van other than that. Okay, did you get it checked out before? We have a couple of mechanic friends, and they were trying to problem solve, seeing why, you know, the steering was not unlocking. So we were able to, you know, whittle it down to that it was the power steering pump and once okay. that was replaced, it was running beautifully. So Ms. Kelly, one of the things that Ms. Pallone explains in her complaint is that she would never have sent her son on a six hour drive in a van that she knew had serious mechanical problems. That sounds pretty logical to me. How do you feel about that? Yes, it is logical, but at the same time, I feel like she had to have known that there was more going on than what was going on because a steering column doesn't come apart twice for no reason. One time while I was driving, one time while my mother-in-law was driving. Okay, so you get this vehicle and you both had an agreement, you have the same recollection, which is you were gonna pay her $100 every two weeks. Yes. So how long after that happened did you start having issues? Pretty much a couple days later. I was headed to work, I left at five, around five in the morning. It was snowy, icy, cold out. I barely even made it down the street that I live on, went to go turn the corner, and I came inches from hitting another vehicle because the steering disconnected, like the steering column came apart. So when you say the steering column came apart, what do you mean? Like I could turn the steering wheel around and around and around, the and tires it, didn't move, and it didn't nothing turn. happened. So most car purchases, absent some different agreement, are considered as-is purchases. You purchase the car with warts and all. Did you do anything to have the van checked out? Yeah, my dad drove it for a little bit. He noticed the steering was still stiff. We assumed it was because of air bubbles in the okay. steering pump. That's what Ms. Pallone had told us. So that's what we had just went on and assumed that it was just air bubbles in the steering that needed to be worked out. Um, okay, so they had an issue immediately and you said it was just air bubbles. Actually, Your Honor, my yeah. brother is the one that told me it was an air bubble because everything was working great up until the time my son actually pulled mm -hmm. into the parking lot. So I went and grabbed my brother. I'm like, this thing has been working great. And so he gets in, he just starts turning the wheel back and forth multiple times. And then everything started loosening it up. He says, this is a very common thing. When you replace a power steering pump, it will have air bubbles that are working it their way up. 